Hi, welcome to .NET Code Snippet. In this video, I am going to show you how to bind data into drop down list based on another drop down list values. I already, de I already developed the application based on this issue. I already there are two drop down lists one is choose country, drop down list, con choose country first drop down list, and second is state, city. Sorry, city drop down list is empty, it is only showing default value at no city available. When page load, the data has been loaded has a no city available in city drop down list. And if you come to country drop down list, they are shown three country names USA, India, and China. Let me see once I choose any country in that, we get any city names or not. Yeah, USA, USA city names was coming here. Let me see India, India cities names, and China, China cities names is coming. Yeah, it's working great. Uh, we go to the design part of this. Here, I choose any two drop down list. The property of the drop down list will be is ID as chosen as a DDL country and city DDL city. Uh, when page loads, uh, the, uh, the country name will be bind to the drop down list. Let me see the code of that. When page load, get countries. They get countries method is the query is select star from the country. We are getting all country data here and we are binding the data into the drop down list country here. The uh, drop down list country data text field the displaying the displaying data will be country name, the data value field, the hidden field will be country ID is binding to the drop down list. Here for example you can see Data text field will be USA, India, China. Uh, the hidden field will be data value field. That is value is control CNT1, CNT2. They are the hidden field of that values. That will be that will be this country ID. And uh, let me see. Let me see one more thing. When I choose the city uh, countries, it's automatically getting the that country cities here. Let me show you how it's coming here. Before that, I want to make some changes in properties. Let's just first select the first drop down list and go to the properties here. Auto post back option is make it is true. But if it is false, but you have to make it is true and double click on that drop down list is take you on drop down list country selected index change event here i have used any two strings one is get country id and country name that is nothing but there is nothing but is this country id is nothing but cnt1 country name is usa that's what i mean when you get this country id and country name there is a if condition of getting uh, I'm playing here if country id is not equal to zero then execute this query if it, if it is zero then execute is no city available for that country if there if uh, country id is not equal to zero there is another query i'm executing S select city id city name from city table where country id equal to get country id whatever country id we are getting from this first drop down list based on that we are retrieving the uh, city's, na city's name from that for that countries and binding that to the city drop down list uh, drop down city like that we can bind how many if you are if you have multiple drop down list if there are another third drop down list uh, there is a uh, uh, city sub street names street names if you choose a street name there is another drop down list you have to again you have to go to the this drop down list and you have to make it property false you have to make it as true and double click this event and write the same query what how, however i written here like that you can make how, how many drop downs you want to add you can add it
प्लीज लाइक माई वीडियो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियो